in your room now. Well, well, you got a whole zoo up there. What is he anyhow? Uh, Mom, this is Steg Unky. Uh, 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 an absolutely harmless. Just look at that, ain't he cute? Oh, you little rascal. You. <laughs> Mom, and he's smart, too. Yes, he is. Got two brains. He's got one in his head, and got one in his tail. There you go, try to jive me again. Boy, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Whoever heard tell him any animal having brains in his tail? If he's got one brain anywhere, he's got one more than you've got. Uh, right. Come on, Stanley. Come on now. Come on upstairs. I'm going to show you uh, where, where we're going to sleep at. I'm going to fix you. Come on, Stanley. Stop acting so simple. Come on here. I'm going to fix you a nice place. Come on, Stanley. I'm going to knock you out. I see that right now. Come on, Stanley. I'm going to kick you out. Come on here, Stanley. Get on up there, Stanley. Nice hey, Dustin, who's going to take him out at night? I'm tired of cleaning around here, but you can't take care of that old thing. Ah, ah. Oh, Stanley, that, ah, 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 ah. Don't, don't put your hands now. That's nice, that's nice. Come on in now, come on in. This, this is, oh, look at it. Hey, he's cute. Oh, yes, lady, you're so glad to have a nice place to sleep. Oh, look at that. Ha, ha! 
Oh, see, I'm gonna make a lot of money on you. Yes, I am. Oh, you little rascal, you. Uh, now, now, look here. Come, come, come and stay here. Now, 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 here's where we gonna sleep at over there. But before we take it out of now, I'm going to take you around and introduce... Uh-uh, come on, don't do that, boy. I'm going to take it... Now, now, listen, I don't want me you to fall out, see, because you is my poacher. See, uh, oh, stop now. Stop, Peggy. See here. Come on and go around and meet the other members of the act. Peggy, you, you, you're getting worse from now. I'm gonna, you're going to make me lose my temper. Come on here. Come on now and go meet the other members of the act. Now, get, oh, stop, Peggy. Oh, oh, Peggy, all right. Now, I'm going to hurt you now. Come on back here. You step right on my bunny, now. Don't never do that no more. Now, come on over here and meet Fuzzy. Come on, come on. Now, Fuzzy, this is Peggy. Peggy, that's Fuzzy. Ha, ha. Look at that. He's so glad to see him, too. Oh, wait I, 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 you, you can get me put out. Uh, don't jump up in Mom's chair. Uh, stop putting all that hair on the floor. Uh, now, here, say what you do. Come on here. I'm going to introduce you to the other milk. Get out of the chair, Stig. Come on and meet the other members of the act. Come on, Stig. Oh, oh Stig, and stop. Oh, get away. All right, now. I wish I had my... I done went off home and left my... Sister. If I had somebody hurt you, come on here and meet the other members of the act. Come on here. Now, come on over here and meet, and meet the rest of the members of the act. Now, 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 that's nice. Now, brother, this Stig. Stig, that's brother. You better like that? Look at this. Ha, ha! Oh, what's the matter? Uh, what's the matter? Oh, don't get scared of him, Stiggy. Oh, he ain't going to hurt you. Look at that. Stop saying you're going to get me scared of him in a minute. Now, now look what you done done. You done scared st Stiggy. Now, uh, listen, brother. If you don't stop scaring everybody, I'm going to have to put you back in a cage. I don't want to put you in a cage. But I will. Now, just remember that. Come on here, Stiggy. Mean you got to get some sleep, cause hey, we got to get up today and put on a good show. Do you know that? That's what we got to do. Now, 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 look here. See now, I'm gonna let you sleep right here. I'm gonna sleep in the bed. See now, uh, 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 uh. Come on, uh, uh, no, it ain't like that, son of a It ain't like that. See, you sleep down here. I'll sleep in the bed. Oh yes, you will too. See, this ain't no tree. This is a bed. Yeah, yeah, but you, you'll never park your hips up here. Now, I'll show you what to do now. You come right here and lay down right here. You understand what I mean, Stig? I'll show you what I'm talking about. You lay right down here just like this here. And you lay like this here. See, you get some good sleep like this. I slept in the park and look at this like this. You sleep like, and then when you feel like you want to turn over, then you just turn over just like this here. <laughs> Boy, this is all. This is... Hey, Stig. Hey, Stig. Hey, Stig. Well, now, ain't that for shame? Well, he always said be kind to dumb animals. Then maybe he ain't dumb. Yeah. What's that pot on the stove from you a minute, Freddy? Oh, come in. Thank you. Uh, you in show business? Yes, I think. Oh, you do? Oh, would you mind? Oh, you wouldn't mind. Run the scale for Mom. I love singing. Oh, 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 oh. Is that all right? Why, honey, that was beautiful. What is your name? My name's Lila Foster. And I was wondering if you could show me your room. Well, yes, I can show you one. But the trouble of it is, they're all filled up. Well, thanks anyway. Oh, oh wait a minute. Let Mom think. There must be some way I can figure this out. Oh, yeah. I'll put Dusty in the room with Mufti. No. If I did that, Mufti would eat up the rest of Dusty's act. Oh, I'll put Boo Boo. No. I can't move Boo Boo. He never would find his room, honey. You know, he's always the R-U-N-K. No. 
Yeah. <laughs> I know how you get a drink. My friend, that still gives me a drink. And I'm going in it fear. And Sam, uh, my old friend Dustin, always look out for me. I get the pill. Hey, Dust. Come on, get up and give me a drink. I, I want a drink, Dust. Oh, you sleeping. Keep it right in that drawer there, so I'll just go in there and help myself. Or you won't have any. <laughs> yes, there it is. Look like Jim. Yes, I did. It is good. see him again, honey. And now mom got a room for you. He seemed so frightened. Frightened? He was scared to death. You know what I think happened? I think he must have took one look at Staggy. Is Staggy a boarder here? No, a rumor. I don't feed prehysterical animals. I just can't feed the hysterical ones. Oh. So come on upstairs and mom show you where your room's at. Come on. This way, darling. You see, this was Boo Boo's room, but you can have it now. You know, you're a pretty girl. I think you look better with your hat on. <laughs> Marcy! Oh, no, you don't. You're not going out of here until you pay me every nickel of your rent. Get back in that room. Can you imagine as nice as I've been to him? Get in there. Oh, my goodness! What? Did you hurt yourself? No, I hope not. I hope I didn't hurt myself. Oh, uh... How to do? How to do? Uh, looks like I've seen you someplace before. Maybe you have. You see, I get around. Yeah, and your name is, uh... Vivian? And your last name? Harris. Oh, I had a hard time guessing that, too. And who are you? I'm Spider Bruce, you know. Oh, Spider Bruce. Yeah, are you going to the dance tonight? Well, I was thinking about it. Well, that's nice. Are you married? No, I'm not. Well, where do you live? Upstairs. Oh, you cooking up there now, huh? I should say not. I'm an actress and I live up there. Oh, I see. Well, how about you and I getting together tonight, going to the dance together? Well, I don't care if I do. What time can I meet you? How about the corner drugstore about 9 o'clock? That's fine. 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock. I'll see you okay. here. Oh, me, me, me. Don't forget. 9 o'clock. Yes, sir. I'm going to the tail shop and get my clothes right now. Ha, <laughs> ha. Yes. I bet they do, they don't. If I bet they will, they won't. <laughs> I guess the landlady will just have to wait for her rent this week. Yeah, I ain't stood by what you talk about, because I ain't... Well, hello, Why, Spider. hello there. Hi. Say, listen What's all y'all been down there? Oh, don't never count on the Joe's place. Why, he leaves his wife there and charge you. The minute you go out, if you think she overcharge you there. Yeah. Well, how much you charge I'm charging me 35 cents there. For <laughs> 35 cents? That's right. Why, it's been a dollar to a dollar and a half to have my clothes fresh. Yeah, that's reason you got on that leap here suit there now. Say, ain't you going to the dance tonight? <laughs> Not like this. Well, so wonder you got this for looking like that. How about the... Now, listen, I remember the first time I uh, saw you. You know, you did me a very nice favor, Oh, too. I wasn't going to bring that up. Well, one good turn deserves another. Yes, sir. And if my clothes will fit you, here they is right now. Try on them pants there. Yeah, but what are you going to do? Don't worry, I got clothes I ain't never seen before. Well, all right, thank you very much. That's all right. I'll go over here and try them on. Ah, uh, don't do that. What, what, don't that? never been up the pants like that. It's 35 cents invested there. All right, I'll be right back. Yeah, now, time on right there. You all right? He's a good old boy. Just plays horses all the time, you know. Yeah, but I never will forget what he did, though. Uh, get your heels out the pocket. You act like you ain't never had on no pants before. 
Oh, they fit him, too. I sure is glad of that. Now he can go to the dance. Yes, sir. Him and I are going to that dance tonight. Here he comes back. There they are. Now, look. All set there, you know. Yes, it fits, too. Yes, sir. Here. I want you to take my coat. Your coat, too? Yes, sir. The coat. Oh, I, I, the, well, this is all right. I know. Well, you know, you're really all right here. Oh, sure, I know. But yes. now, wait a minute. Don't throw it in my face like that. Well, what's the matter? You're liable to have some friends on this, baby. Oh, no friends on no. that. Well, you won't need that no more. Well, now. this is really all right. Yes. I'll never forget I this. I know that. Now, look, look at that. Wait a minute, here. Let me get your feet up off of 7th Avenue, boy. Well, all right. Yes, And the shoes, too. Now, the shoes. Goes well, you to you. Right there, I will. The, my, uh, what is these here you got here? Are those shoes there? Yes, sir. Why, those are Edmund C. Clapp. You're right. They done lapped all right. No, you I don't need them anymore either. Ah, dog, look at that. Yes, now, wait a minute. Put but, the cane on. Put the hat on. Take the handkerchief off your neck. You got to do it. And you're all dressed up, you know. Oh, mercy. Look at that. You're all right. In a shop, yes, Jackson? Sir. I'm really in there. Uh, 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 don't do that. Uh, don't do what? Don't never turn that fast in my clothes. Well, if I want to turn, I'll turn. No, you won't turn in that clothes. I'll if I get the urge to turn, I'll turn. You don't have the urge to turn in my clothes. Why, well, I said when I turn, I'll turn. Oh, look who ain't going to the dance tonight here. Yeah. <laughs> well, oh, sir, what's the matter? I was just kidding. Oh, I see you were. Uh, say, Spider. What's the matter? You know, I expected an advance from my agent today. Yeah. And didn't receive it, so uh, will you lend me two till next week? Oh, yes, I promised to let you go to the dance, and you're going, you know. Yes, you did. Here you are. Thank now, you whatever you do, get yourself a girlfriend. Oh, I will get one. I will. I tell you, I'll yeah. see you there, huh? Uh -huh. Oh, my, you look so oh, nice. I'm in there. Then look at here. What? Another thing, you know, you easily get mad. Yeah. In case anybody doing this thing to start an argument with in the dance tonight, in case you get mad at all, if they want to fight, yeah. I'll pull off my clothes if they feel like they want to cut you. I'll see you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll take care of you. So long, I'll you. So long, Spider. Why, hello, Viv here. Why, hello, Charlie. How have you been? Oh, I've been around. I haven't seen you lately. Well, naturally, you wouldn't, honey. I'm uh, following the horses nowadays. Oh, I see. You're a street cleaner now, huh? Uh, uh, no street cleaner, honey. I just made 15000 today, and I thought I'd walk around and see what the girls and boys at the boarding house are doing. $15,000? Yes, it is. Oh, why, wow, you're really sick, uh, ain't you? Yes, Emma, are you going to the fair tonight? Well, I was thinking about it. Uh, who's the wolf? I haven't picked one yet. Ow! Yeah, well, all right, Joe, it's all right. I didn't mean it. Oh, hello, Spider. Hello. I was looking for you. Yeah. Yeah, I got me a fine chick, old man. Oh, you have? Yeah, she's really in there. Oh, Spider, you better let me have two more dollars. You, know you didn't have nothing but a notion of going, did you? Well, I just had it. I'll have see you at the dance. Yeah, I thank you oh, very much. I'll okay. See you, uh, say, hey, uh, Callie, come here. You got the wrong girl. The wrong girl? Yeah, that's me there. Oh, no, uh, Esther. Miss, uh, Miss Harris, do you know him? No, him. Him? I never knew anything that looked like him in all the days of I my life. I see right now, I've got to get you all told, I'll tell you. Now, partner, you just like all the rest of the common men. You don't know when you really got a friend. I loan you my clothes, my money, you turn around and take my gal. You just can't stand prosperity, that's all. Why, the lady says, my boy, that she don't know you. No. Well, I believe she's true. Well, that's well, that ought to do. Oh, yeah. You see, guys like you are out of style nowadays. Yeah. So, Mr. Common Trash, be on your merry way. Yeah. Oh, pardon me, sir. Gimme. I said, gimme. Now, since you've been so deceiving and thought you're standing so pat, I think you better let me have my old high step hat. Man, gimme. I said, gimme my hat. Now, you hear what I said? Now, what this man is talking about, I really can't. Why, lady, I'm only getting back. Guess what this bum board for me, that dog. That's all right, darling. I'll make an excuse for you, honey. I'll stay right into the farm and your hat is out the window. You see? She wants me to go with her anyway. Sure. She's going to make an excuse for That's me. Right. Come on, honey. Oh, partner, give me. I said give me. Oh, no. Now, uh, since you've been so deceiving and staying out in front of all these folks, I think you better let me have my old full red coat. Oh, no. Oh, I said, give me, man. You don't understand. I said, give me my coat. That's what I want. Now, now, what this man is talking about, I still can't. Hey, you stay out this mess. I'm only getting back just what he borrowed from me, that's all. That's all right, darling. I'll make another excuse for you, sweetheart. I'll say it's too warm for you to wear a coat. You see, she's going to make another excuse no. for me. It's too warm to wear a coat. You haven't been out lately, have you? Oh, come on, honey. Oh, putting now. Gave me. I said gave me. 
Now, uh, since you've been so deceiving and try to act so brand new, I think you better let me have them old patent leather shoes. Oh, no. Oh, no, nothing. Give me, man. Oh, man, give me the shoes. Oh, oh, man, man. Yeah. Look at there. You done turned them over already there. So you're trying to... Keep me from going to the dance. I ain't trying to stop you. I'm just stopping my clothes, that's all. Well, I bet you I'm going. You bet what? I'll bet you four dollars. Where's it at? Here it is. This is my phone. Now, where is your phone at? Well, I ought to. Oh, fool him, devil, fool him. Oh, come on, honey. Oh, no, brother. I really can't use you now. Ain't nobody use him now. I'm standing up there just as barefoot as a yard dog. Done gone and brought a new style to Harlem there. A new look with a walking cane. <laughs> Now, there you stand barefooted and everybody can see. And if you make it with that gal barefooted, it's all right with me. Them pants is not... got away, but one thing, I got his clothes. Oh, my best silver. Why, you dirty little... These children gonna make me say something yet. What is mom's going to say? Staggy, stop eating them feathers that like that. Don't you know there ain't no chicken on the end of them? If it was, I'd have done eat it myself. Now listen, we just have to go out and hustle some breakfast somewhere. We ain't got nothing to eat, Staggy. We, we ain't got nothing to eat. We, mom done told... Mom done... Ma oh, I see what you mean. Mm -hmm. well, you know, I always know that wind up eating up my ass. Well, got to be done. And I'm hungry, too. Mm, I sure hate to do this, but it's got to be done. Now, ain't no use to act like that. Ain't no you. I'll write home and tell the folks that you died for a mighty good cause. Yes, I will. Uh, brother, I hate to do this to you. But it's got to be done. You see... Daggy, he's a big attraction, and we got to keep him alive. And besides, he's too tough. Then who ever heard talk of a stick on his stew? Well, it's got to be done. Look here, I tell you what you do, brother. Be a man. Walk into it. Walk into it. Come on, walk in. So you won't talk, huh? I know what I'll do. I'll shut my eyes, and I know it's not what I do it. Ow! Boy, you like to make me break my leg. And you broke my knife, oh, too. Oh, excuse me, Mama. There ain't no way to kill no rabbit. Well, I don't know how you kill him. Give him here, yeah, I'll do it. Ain't just a shame. And, uh, say, Mom, I'll, uh, loan me a quarter, will you please? Loan your quarter? Yes, ma'am. What's the name of that man that, in the olden times, that slid down the tree and knocked all the bark off of it? Now, let me see. That was uh, Ezekiel. Ezekiel. Yeah, that's who it well, was. Well, when Ezekiel slides back up the tree and sticks all that bark on, then maybe I'll lend you a quarter. Hold right. still, right? I'll wait on that. Now, right. look here, Mom. Mm -hmm. uh, when you get through, call me, yeah? Yeah, I'll call you when dinner's through. Now, ain't that a shame? Dexter done broke my best knife. Wait a minute, now, wait a minute, honey. Now, 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 did Mom give you a nice supper? Now, you must be scared, Mom. Give you a whole lot of supper. See, Mom ain't gonna hurt you. You just go cut your head off. Because if I don't, you see, Mom's children ain't gonna have nothing to eat tonight. Now, who's that ringing that doorbell? Now, you stay right there. Be nice, baby Mom coming right back. We'll get that rabbit fixed in the world. Uh, good Hello, morning. Come in, good morning. Uh, 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 
Put, put, put that knife away. Oh, this is not for you. Oh. You, you see, I'm from Sloan, Sloan, and your payment is due on your piano. Well, maybe this is for you. Uh, 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 say, what's up, Mom? He's from Sloan's Loan, and he came to see about a piano. Uh oh, piano. Yeah. Just a minute. I'll yeah. see about it for you right away. <laughs> Thank you. Three whistles, the guy for the piano. Come over here. Now look, I've checked all over. There's no piano in this house. Uh, but there must be a piano. Because, see, what are you doing to me? Now, I told you, there's no piano in this house. If you want to look, you can look. Look in some of the other rooms if you want to. That's what I'm going to do. Because they want me here someplace. <laughs> Don't disturb the paying voters. Mom slap. Well, all right. I'll look at this. Look in the cold. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to find the piano. Now, this is the kitchen. Yeah. Have a good look. Yeah, I am. Oh, Mr. Stan, why don't you forget all about it? Oh. And come on, stay for dinner. Why, we're going to have some nice rabbit stew. You like rabbit stew? Yeah, but 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 I I I I I got to go. I I I I I I told the man I'm 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 so thanks. I will. Children, I want you to meet Mr. Uh, Stanley's my name. Mr. Stanley from the Sloan's Loan Company. Yeah, I'm 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 I
I only have enough of one week's board. One week's board? That's all I ever paid, and I've been here six months. But how does Mom manage? Well, to tell you the truth, I never ask her. I guess she's got insurance money. You mean Mom had insurance money? <laughs> it's all gone now. I got something to tell you children after that. A little bad news. Oh, I won't spoil your dinner. Go ahead and eat. Mama tell you after dinner. All right? Okay. Well, that's a pretty dish to me, children, will you? I hope you enjoyed the rabbit stew. Yes, well, thanks for the dinner. And, and if you see a piano, let me know. I certainly will, Mr. Stanley. You'll be hearing from us very soon. For a loan. Don't disturb the paying voters. Oh, no. Excuse me. But if you feel the piano, let me know, yeah? Bye. Bye. Well, children. This is it. Everything's going out. Nothing's coming in. And to tell you the truth, Mom's broke. And if I don't have fifty dollars by twelve o'clock tonight, the landlord said he's gonna throw everybody out of here. Your stinking uncle and all, Doc. Well, you see, uh, I've been sleeping in the park so long till it don't worry me. Mm -hmm. Maybe we could all pull our money. I still have two dollars and fifty cents. You won't have it if I know where it is. Listen. Well, if we pulled all of our money together with your two dollars and sixty cents, we wouldn't have three dollars, honey. Won't the rent collector take something on account? On account of what? Uh, on account of we ain't got but two dollars and sixty cents. Oh, he ain't gonna stand for that. Oh, don't worry, Mom. Something will turn up. Where's your two dollars at, honey? I'll buy your own business, Dusty. You're always ready. I don't pay a back? When? Oh, I'll pay it back to you when I get it. Ain't that something? I got a gig. Got a gig <laughs> where? He didn't come up yet, but it's promised to me. Yeah. You let me know when it comes up, and I'll have one with you. Thank you. Mom, ain't none of them hot cakes left? No. <laughs> Simon, that man would never take nothing on account. My children, that man is so mean. So don't you know he's liable to walk in here at one minute after 12 and open the door and throw us all out the window? I wish I could cook him just one meal. That's all, brother. Might as well brace up and pack up, too. I think this is the bad news. So get ready for it. Come on in, Drake. <laughs> you got the 50 bucks? No, I ain't. <laughs> then out you go, all of you. Ah, something new has been added. Well, you see, babe, today is the last day of the month. And exactly three minutes, everyone gets thrown out. Of course, now, if you were my wife and they were friends of yours, I might reconsider. I need time to think it over. You have plenty of time. Exactly two minutes. Oh, I need more time. Uh, uh, I'll give you 24 hours to make up your mind. I'll be back tomorrow night at midnight. If it's no, out you all go. <laughs>
Oh, Lila, darling. Gee, you were wonderful. Yeah. Mom didn't know you could jive like that. You jived all right. Mom's going to adopt you. Ah, well, thank honey, you. You are a nice chap. You mean you were only stalling him? You're not considering? What do you take me for anyway, of all the nerves? Wait, wait, Lila, I didn't understand. I'm Lila Foster. Say, I'd know you anywhere. Your dad and I had trooped together for years. How is Joe? He's fine. Uh, this is Jerry Lewis, a friend of mine. Oh, glad to know you, right. Jerry. Any friend of Joe's daughter is a friend of mine. Right. Jerry and I are singers, and we were wondering if you'd let us try out your next show. Oh, I'm sorry, Lila. But if you've been reading the papers, you know that they won't be another. I had a, another flop. Does that mean you're quitting? Oh, no, uh, no uh, 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 a fortune teller told me to quit. A uh, who? A fortune teller? Yeah, what's wrong with that? Well, nothing. Say, I know a wonderful fortune teller. Why not let her tell you a fortune? I just told you I just had my fortune told. But, Mr. Norman, when a doctor tells a patient he has something seriously wrong with him, doesn't the patient go to another doctor for another opinion? Well, the doctors can be wrong. Oh, I see what you mean. Where is this wonderful fortune teller? Uh, at the Tropical Tea Room. Well, come on, let's go right now. No, no, she don't begin until 4 o'clock. All right, I'll see you there at that time. It's a date. Thank you, Mr. Norman. Goodbye. Oh, goodbye. See you later. Your foster daughter. What do you know? You know it all about experience in show business. I ain't never been a fortune teller before. Well, Mom, you know what to say and what to do. Oh, yes, this town's a tale. I worry about Mom. I ain't never missed a cue in my life. <laughs> Jerry, I still think it's a mean trick to play on Mr. Norman. Lila, all's fair in love and show business. And besides, we're helping him. Well, I hope so. Here he comes now. Well, here I am. Hello, Mr. Norman. I'll take your hat. Okay. Madam Altura, this is Mr. Norman. Mr. Norman, this is the wonderful fortune teller I was telling you about. It is the pleasure to meet you. Sit down. No. Uh, I'm glad to meet you. I tell you a fortune. I tell you everything. This crystal ball tell everything. No all. Understand? Ah, I can see talent, a house full of talent that will make your next show the big hit. Is that not right? Sure. Shut up, fool. I'll do the talking. Where is all of this fine talent? In Mom's boarding house. No. Never heard of them. I heard of them. So have I. We could round them up for you. I know Mom personally. Well, there's enough talent in this house for the whole show. Ah, what's Mom's house not got? Her friend next door, Bueller, got. See, Bueller house got what Mom house lacked. What's hmm. that? Two bathrooms? Well, you kids round up that talent and have them at my theater in the morning at 10 sharp. I'll audition them there. And I'll tour her. Thank you. A hundred dollar bill. Thank you. So long, kids. Bye, Mr. Norman. So long, Mr. Norman. Oh, my dear, I'm going to faint. <laughs> hey, wait for me. Well, what's the answer? Will she marry me? Here's your answer, brother. Today is the last day of the month, and I don't have to accept it. Listen, you extended that one day, and I've got witnesses to prove it. All right. But I'll get even. Yeah? Well, right now, brother, get blows. Mr. Norman, if you'll sit on that seat, I'll introduce the acts that we'd like to have you put in your show. 
and I'll introduce them as the appear for you. All right, go ahead. I'm ready and anxious to see them. Bring them on. Say, Mom, are you going to be in the show? Well, the children kind of was talking about they'd like for Mom to do a little dance. So I can't turn them down, I guess so. Yeah, once an actor, always an actor. You tell it me. <laughs> <laughs> how about you, Dusty? You gonna work? Take party. I say, are you in the show? Am I in the show? That's what I say. Hey, just a shame. <laughs> Is I in the show? Well, I am the star of the show. You say? Out of my way, ham. <laughs> hey, <this girl>. Ham. <laughs> <laughs> what ham. You, what you doing now, sir? Ham, why do you appear without me? Ham, ham. Hey, some actor? Oh, get up. Don't you have a chance in the fall? Hop on on the stage. They're great acts, though, every one of them. <laughs> now, Mr. Norman, we're going to give you the talent. The talent that we hope you're going to produce in your next show. And the young man that I'm going to introduce to you is a gentleman that should be a sensation. In fact, I know he'll be a sensation, and he should be an inspiration to us all. Introducing at this time, Crip Heard. Take it away, Crip. Introducing to you at this time, the Berry Brothers. Believe me, they're exponents of the dance. And when you see them, I'll bet you will say they're definitely the Berry.
said it. But did you say it? Yeah! young lady that carries the name Walking by the River. That's our girl, Una Mae Carlisle. So my style is breezy and my smile is cheesy. If you think I'm easy, throw it out your mind. Should your heart start hurting, wondering if I'm flirting, and your head uncertain, Throw it out your mind Why anyone can plainly see Unless they are blind That I'm yours exclusively I'm the one track kind When you're out without me Never worry about me Anytime you doubt me Throw it out your can plainly see unless they are blind that I'm yours exclusively I'm the one track kind when you're out without me never worry about me anytime you doubt me throw it out your mind throw it throw it out of your mind Mr. Norman you know make Carlisle is going to do one of her own too I'm quite sure you like it. There's a crazy expression in Chicago now. It's a funny thing, but it caught on somehow. No, it ain't like that. What you bet? It ain't like that. What you bet, I say. Yes, I said that. So with your help, watch a step to save your rest. It ain't like that, I say. Yes, I said that Now tell me, honey, just to make three When in reality, seeing is believing and hearing is deceiving Oh, it ain't like that, ABC, you follow me It ain't like that, I said Yes, I said that Just to make three 
When in reality, seeing is believing and hearing is deceiving. No, it ain't like that. If you see, you follow me. It ain't like that, I say. No, it ain't like that. What you bet? It ain't like that. We bring you at this time, Stump and Stumpy. A very fine team, a little different, because one's about here and one's about here. But you put them both together, you've really got something. Here they are. You like it nice and jumpy. How to do? I'm so dumb. And we've got swing sales. If you big for small and hard. And you like your rhythm story. Till it makes you mouth and sorry. We've got swing sales. Why rhythm? It's really what you need. Players and kids, we've said it. If you buy from me, we will be callow. We will swing. But now no planet. There ain't no telling. It's fun. I don't like it. Stop. Norman, I'm going to introduce a lady that's terrific. A lady in your eyesight, and when you look and see her, you're going to feel just exactly as we do. We all call her Mounds because she's just that dear to us. Professionally, she's known as Jackie Mounds Mabley. But we all call her Mounds, so what do you say, Mounds? Take it away. <laughs> I'm so tired, it's like I have the hardest luck in the world. Now I've lost my job again. Working for the mayor, too. Well, it ain't my fault. I was doing farewell to the Duke and Duchess of somewhere came over here. And as soon as they came over here, they said, of course, they stand with the mayor. The madam comes stop me down. She says, Mom says, don't say yes, ma'am, and no, no ma'am to the Duchess. They must say, your royal death. 
Come on in the excellent dining room. Eat your majesty grapefruit and all that stuff. Well, one day, anyhow, the mayor went out for a ride on the bridal train. Come back in and said to me, said, Mom, where's the Duchess? I said, she's in the royal bathroom. In the royal bathtub. With her royal soap and her excellent wash rag. Scrubbing her royal hide. I didn't know it was wrong. They fired me. Of course, when they fired me, when I lose my job, I lose my man. That is, since I got well. Kind of old, you know. Now, don't get me wrong. It ain't no disgrace to be old. But darn if it ain't inconvenient, I can tell you that much about it. Sure, I like Cab Calloway. Everybody talk about it. I know it. Say, Cab treats me like a dog. He does. Treats me like a dog. He called me a dog. Yes, he did. What did he call me? An old dog. Sometimes I wished I was a dog and he was a tree. I'm good evening. I'm telling you that much. Well, Luther, looks like it's about time for Mom to get away from you. Now, it's been a long time since I spanked these boys. So I want you to play it real pretty for the people and see if Mom can't do a little rebop for them. Take it away, Luther. Wait, wait a minute, Luther. Don't, don't play it like that, Luther. Play it like you're playing for one of them big people, you know. Make it pretty and one of them symphonic stuff, all that stuff. Hey, honey, make me look like Lena Horn if you possibly can up there, Mr. Lightfair. That's better, baby. Come on, Luther. Knock me out, Luther. Fine, fine. I love the dance. At least I used to love the dance. time in the morning. No? No, nah, I'm going on without her. Oh, yeah. yeah. Very funny, I'm telling you, very funny. And I suppose you're wondering who I'm speaking of being very funny. Well, I'm talking of a marvelous comedy team, Lewis and White. And now I'd like to do a little tune that I had the pleasure of doing in the show. Just... Well, here I am. Hello there, how are you? Hey, uh -huh. say, can't you see I'm out here trying to entertain? Trying? Are you kidding? Why, he ha don't you have guests here? This is no place to try and nothing. And furthermore, there's a show going on. What time does it start? Well, the show is on now. Yeah, how long is the show? Fifty-five minutes. How long are you on? Ten minutes. Be back in eleven minutes. Say, wait a minute, where are you going? I'm going out and join the wax. Join the wax while the wax are for women. <laughs> I'm for women, too. <laughs> Look, just sit down while I run over four or five bars of Sunny Boy. From where I'm standing, Sonny, you should run over four or five bars of life, boy. <laughs> so are you going you to tell him, well, Fargo, I can't express myself. <laughs> are you going to let me sing this number or not? You a singer? Are you kidding? <laughs> well, you're ugly. <laughs> and you're drunk. Yeah, and you're ugly. And you're still drunk. Yeah, but tomorrow I'll be sober. <laughs> yeah, well, I've got the kind of face you have to look at twice. Yeah. You know, you don't believe it the first time. Are oh, you one of those wise guys, huh? No, I'm not wise. Well, in order to be in show business nowadays, you have to have political background. Uh, what you mean? Oh, well, 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 everybody in my family is interested in politics. Is that right? I'm a Democrat, my wife's a Republican, my baby's wet, my cow is dry, and my cat is on the fence. <laughs> Why, it's a good thing you don't have a dog. I got a dog, but he don't vote. No? No, he just hangs around the polls all day. <laughs> all right, you're so smart, spell skunk. Skunk? Uh, S K 
K-N-K, skunk. S-K-N-K? Yeah, I left you out. <laughs> All right, you heckling me, what can you do? Who, me? Yes, you. Oh, I make with the poetry. You mean you're a poet? Zach, I'm a poet, know it, believe me, I can go it, and I ain't scared to show it. Well, let me hear you recite some poetry. Oh, you want to hear me recite? That's right. Well, it's dramatic. Dramatic? Yeah. Go right ahead. Don't get scared now. Don't run away. Drama. Mary had a little lamb. Its fleece was white as snow. And with the price of meat the way that it is... What about it? That lamb has got to go. <laughs> then why, that the best you can do? Oh, no, I have another. Better than that first one. Well, it's short. Quickie, yeah. Back right to the point. Uh-huh. Go right ahead. Well, you see, once there was two fellows, one named Brunside and one named Rockside. Well, Brunside lived on the east side and Rockside lived on the west side. Brunside decided he'd move to the north side and Rockside decided he'd move to the south side. So Brunside decides he'll go down on the south side to visit Mr. Rockside on that side. So he goes down the street on the wrong side, cross the street to the right side to the house on that side. Walked upon the porch on the outside, rang the doorbell on the inside, and the lady came to the outside and they asked for Mr. Rockside. Did. The lady sighed and cried and cried and sighed. The Rockside died, committed suicide. Say, why, well, you pretty good. You like that? But how about you coming out here with me? Be all right. Well, come right on out. Okay. Say, so what do you do anyway? Oh, well, I'm a dancer. You do? Yeah. I used to be a musician. You did? Yep, but been studying art lately. Oh, that right. Over to the museum this morning. You were? Great two skeletons talking. Oh, what were they saying? One said to the other, you know, if we had any guts, we'd get out of here. Say, listen. Oh, what took you so long getting out here? I had to stop by the racetrack and knocked on the horse. I got running tomorrow. Yeah? Put cocaine in his front legs, Novocaine in his hind legs, benzaprine in his mouth, and stuffed some marijuana in his nose. <laughs> Say, you think he'll come in first? He might not come in first, Jim, but he'll be the happiest horse in there. <laughs> so now that you're out here, how about doing a little something? Oh, you want to see me do something? Mm -hmm. Well, let's see. Well, I do imitations, I do dramatics, I do characters. Characters? Yeah. Let's see a couple of characters. All right, now remember the cowboy days? Yeah. Like the, well, no, I got a better deal than that. I can imitate different types of people. Yeah? Yeah, now say, for instance, now a cab driver. A cab driver? Yeah. Now, I can imitate a cab driver. Should a gangster ask him to drive him someplace to rob a bank or something? Yeah. But I need your help. Me? Hey, see, I'm going to be the cabbie. It wants you to be the gangster. Uh, you can play the part of coffee head, can't you? Yeah. But you see, you come along. I don't see you. I'm leaning on my cab. But out of the clear blue sky, you ask me. Somebody stole my cab already. <laughs> say, well, well, you know what to do. All mean. right, here we go. Okay. Taxi. Hey, taxi. Hey, Stinky. Stinky? Who, me? Yes, you. What do you want? Come on over here. Who are you? My name is Cactus, but all my friends call me Tex. Where you hail from, Tex? Cincinnati. Oh, see. Stinky? You called me Stinky a couple of eggs back, and I don't like it. Reach for that there shooting on, and if I don't beat you to the draw and blow your head off, my name is Eddie Rochester Anderson. Um, um, what a ham. Look at you, partner. I told you that if I didn't beat you to the throw and blow your head up, my name was Rochester. Now what have you got to say? Hello, Mr. Billy. Norman, we're going to close up the curtains because we have something sensational that we're going to give you. This gentleman don't need no terrific build-up because you're going to recognize his name and the music that's going to follow his name and keep your toes tapping and set your soul really and make it happy, happier. Introducing at this time that man with the band, a dynamic personality, Lucky Millinder.
now the band with Paul Breckenridge. a specialty number, one that I'm quite sure you're going to enjoy, a lovely lady and a tune that definitely fits her personality. So the name of the tune is Let It Roll and that introduces Anastine Allen. Let it roll, let it roll. Oh, 
Introducing at this time, one of our top recording artists. This is a young man that overnight he was a sensation. His tunes have reached the top into a thousand years. Maybe I could go so far as to say millions, but let it reach your ear at this time. I speak of that one and only Bull Moose Jackson. <laughs> One more number by the band, Mr. Norman. And this is really a hot one. Take them away, Lucky.
This is fine, Mom. Really fine. And so fitting and appropriate after our big opening and great success. Oh, it was nice of you to make this party for us after the show. And it was certainly nice of you to make it possible for me to have this party. Look at my children. Oh, they're so happy, having so much fun. When my children's happy. Believe me, it makes Mom feel good in you. I see that. Oh, if that's who I think it is. Will you excuse me a minute, Mr. Norman? Oh, certainly. I'll be right back. Sure. Oh, that's a good house. Uh oh. <laughs> it's after midnight, and it's after the last day of the month. So out you go. <laughs> Here's your 50 bucks. Now scram, ham. No, no, no. See this calendar here? Well, that's yesterday's date. And yesterday was the last day of the month. Would you mind showing me today's date? With pleasure. See? Yes, I see. You look at it. I've been bored. It's leap year. Yes, it's leap year. And you take a leap to get out of here. No, I'm on my oh, right to so stand back. You can't do that to me. Who okay. cares? I've got some right. Get out, get over. out of here. You know, darling, you're making me the happiest man in the world. Really, you are. This is the moment that I have definitely been waiting for. I'm telling you. <laughs> hey, this will make Joe very happy. Congratulations. Oh, gee, Mom, where's Dusty? He should be here. Dusty, upstairs with them animals. Honest to goodness, that's the worst boy I'm telling you that I got. He's got a whole menagerie up there. He got what he calls uh, Stagogi. <laughs> Gunky, that sounds like a sore throat. <laughs> Wait, come on, let's go upstairs. I want to show him to you. Come Just on. <laughs> Dusty, how come you didn't bring me some of that rabbit? Oh, man, do you know I had you a big, one of them big rabbit legs laying out there. Yeah. One of them old hungry actors eat it up. But I tell you what, What's I got that? you some nice dumplings down there in the ice box. Man, who wants any dumplings hungry as I am? That's right. Hungry as you is, you should be able to put some trash in water and feel all right. Oh, never mind that. Cut the car. Huh? Oh, man, cut the car. This thing's hot. Uh, if you don't take that age from out of money that sleeve there, I'm going to send you where it's hotter than that is. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know you ought to stop trying to be so slick. You feel funny walking around with your head on your arm. Oh! You see, let so me... you got a man living here in the falls, pretty? Oh, no, Mom, that ain't no man. Uh, that's my brother. I, I don't care if it's your father. Yeah, but didn't like... Wait a minute, Mom, wait a minute. Well, I, I'm yeah, afraid of you. I, 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 wait a minute, Mom. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, man, why don't you get out the way and stand up there? Wait a minute, Mom, take it easy. Take it easy. Hey, open the door. What's that? Hey, open the door. Wait a minute. Uh, 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 I'm um, a door, Ricky. I, I can say it to you, Mom. I'm um, a door, Ricky. Ain't this a change? Oh, wait a minute, Mama. I'll rent you right out of your back door, sir. 